Next in our side view proportions study, we're going to look at a higher riding vehicle, an SUV. Now we're still going to draw our five circles representing a typical wheelbase. And whether you're drawing a larger vehicle or a smaller vehicle, that proportion is fairly constant because larger vehicles typically have larger wheels and smaller vehicles typically have smaller wheels. We're going to draw our wheel centers. This time the rocker of the vehicle is going to be much closer to the wheel center relative to the ground. That gives us the ground clearance that an SUV typically has. Now the rear overhang is typically much shorter than a sedan. So we may only use half a wheel diameter behind the rear wheel. And we're also going to give the front and rear of the vehicle a nice approach angle and a nice departure angle. And that helps to clear obstacles. We're going to draw our belt line, which is a little higher from the tops of the wheels versus a sedan. And, and this time we're going to align the A pillar closer to the top of the front wheel versus the wheel center. This thing might have the silhouette of something like a Range Rover or a BMW. Fairly long hood, cabin to the rear. We're going to draw our character lines a little bit higher up in the body side. Gives the car a bit more of a lifted, more capable look. Drawing through the form, drawing through the wheels. And the rearmost part of the cabin is going to align with the rear part of the wheel. Now that's something that has a bit of flexibility in terms of developing the character of your, of your design. So some SUVs might have a more upright back window. Some may have a more lean forward back window. I'm going to draw our DLO, daylight opening. As we become more confident, we're going to start to darken some of the lines, maybe put in a few features over the wheels to give it more of a, a tough and capable look. Align the front door with the A pillar and the rear door we'll run that into the rear wheel. So that's uh, the typical proportion of an SUV. Maybe draw some details to represent some protection in the rocker area. And there you have it.